Hi everyone! Welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how I paint white medium length fur with oil paint. If you are interested in more in-depth videos and tutorials, as well as a bunch of other super cool perks like exclusive content, discounts, and being part of a community filled with amazing like-minded individuals, check out my Patreon page. For as little as the cost of a coffee per month, you can gain access to tons of awesome things. Check out the link in the description to join. So white fur is a bit tricky to paint accurately. It reflects the colors of the environment so much, so it's especially important to pay close attention to your references and live models for this painting. The tones of the fur will take on and completely depend on the undertones of the fur as well as the environment. So when it comes to painting realistic white fur, the biggest piece of advice that I can give is to incorporate color. Don't work exclusively with black and white paint, as this will create fur that is super lifeless. I begin to block in some shadows with a bit of warm taupe mixed from titanium white and a bit of burnt umber. Fur often falls into clumps, so keep your eyes out for these when it comes to analyzing your reference. You can keep your brush strokes loose and rough at this point, but be sure that you're at least stroking in the direction of the fur. I now begin to work in some highlights. Mix titanium white with the tiniest dab of burnt umber to create an almost white paint thinned out slightly with medium, and stroke the paint into the lightest parts of the fur. Time to bounce back into the shadows. Taking a finer brush, begin to work in those defined shadows. Blend this out with a dry brush to keep things looking natural. And now back into the highlights. Using that same fine brush, stroke in those lighter hairs.
let everything dry for a day and then begun my final detailing pass. Taking pure white on a fine brush, work in those individual hairs. This can be a tricky phase because it can be easily overdone, but pay attention to your reference and you should be just fine. One of the final phases I do for any painting is to do the glazing step. White fur will reflect all the colors of the environment, so oftentimes it needs an extra dose of color to really boost that realism. Here I'll be mixing a very subtle dark glaze that has a hint of purple to brush over most of the right side of the painting. I envision the light source to be coming from the left side, which would then cast the shadows on the right side of the fur. I then defined a few of the fur chunks with that glaze, blending in to make sure you don't leave visible brush strokes. Let the glaze dry and then move on to the last phase. Throw in a few final details like single stray hairs that catch the light to really boost that realism. And if you had your painting taped to a board like mine, now you get to have that super satisfying effect of pulling off that tape to reveal those beautiful crisp lines. And we're done. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you're looking for deeper instructions on how to paint white fur, I have an ebook that I've linked in the description that I have available that gives you a full detailed explanation with color mixing and all sorts of other details for you. Thanks for watching.